Eagle Imports offers more brands than I can name. Our next guest is Michael Sudini from Eagle. What's going on, Michael? Man, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This, this is fun for me because I am a huge fan of your show. Uh -huh. And I think I've been chasing you somehow from PR people trying to get to you <laughs> for about two years. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is like a real treat, man. I'm, you're, you're I'm making, on your show. You're making me <laughs> look <crazy>. bad. <laughs> No, I'm good. Thanks for having me on, man. Oh, no, no problem, man. Don't feel too bad, man. My mom texts me every day and wonders why I don't ever call. So, <laughs> it's, it's all good. I'm here now. Yeah. I, uh, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, I, I, I have a company called Eagle Imports, uh -huh. and uh, I basically, it's out of New Jersey. Oh, um, I know that's probably made a lot of people go, what? Yeah, but I know. <laughs> that was going to be my next question. I was like, is, is this, are you trolling me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's funny, too, because I, I'm in... I always think I'm like a unique person in the gun industry because there's not a lot of guys that are like from Jersey and I grew up in California. Uh -huh. So like I, I basically am from the places you're not supposed, supposed to, to have guns. And, and Dude, <laughs> you're, you're, a re you're a rebel, man. You're a rebel. It's a rebel. It's like, <laughs> why is your company in New Jersey? But it, it, it's been there for 25 years mm -hmm. and it's a family business and uh, they believe in nepotism, which is great. And <laughs> you know, not mixed up to run it. And uh, we do a lot of things. We import guns from all over the world, so it's it's a very unique. I think we're a dynamic company, very dynamic. Okay, you know? so so you 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 deal in foreign guns, which is which is a bit of a redundancy because a lot of the guns here are foreign. Uh, right, right, right. But there, there is there is a, there is a certain niche to what you guys do, correct? Absolutely, right. and, and the thing is, is like what I guess the the easiest way to describe what I do to somebody who isn't even into guns is I represent gun manufacturers outside of the United States that aren't necessarily large enough to have their own operation here. And they use me to, like, to handle their warranty, their importing, their, their sales, mm -hmm. uh, their customer service. <laughs> so, you know, that makes us super dynamic, yeah. you know? Yeah, no. Right. I mean, I, I think even I do it, right? I, I, I get easily get swallowed up in the big house names in the gun world. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think we forget, overlook, there are tons of gun companies out there that are doing all types of things, building all types of things, you know, and it's easy to overlook them because, like you said, they don't have huge uh, shops out here in America or, you know what I mean, have the ability to kind of run ads and things of that nature that will kind of capture our attention. So that's why we brought you on the show. So talk to us about some of the most popular brands. <laughs> Uh, well, let's see. My, my, I guess my biggest brand or what I'm uh, most known for is Bursa, which okay. is out of Argentina. Okay. Have you heard of Bursa? Um, oh, yeah. I'm familiar with Bursa. Okay. Yep. Good, good. Well, that and that's a brand that's been around for over 50 years. It's the uh, preferred gun of the military and uh, police force down in Argentina. Okay. Uh, it started off with this little Thunder 380. Uh, basically have an example right here. Um uh, but most people know this gun. This yeah, is that's that's yeah, that that's that's one that sticks out <laughs> in my mind most. Yeah, and uh, everything from a twenty-two to a forty-five. Uh -huh. uh, it's run by uh, the Bonadamani's, uh, Ben So Lucas Bonadamani, and they do a great job. They've, I mean, we've had to use guerrilla marketing over, you know, as long as I've been with the company yeah. to kind of spread the word. Because, like I said, when you have eight different brands and you don't have a million for each one of those brands, you got to figure out. <laughs> way to make them popular yeah. um so just watching where bursa is now it has been a real treat like yep. but give you an example when i first got in the industry i was just like this young punk kid who was like i want accessories for all these guns and i'm going up to cribs and trace and i'm like you should make one for the thunder 380 and they're going right. you know we we wouldn't we wouldn't make a 250 dollars laser for a 300 dollars gun it yeah. doesn't make sense and i'm like why not yeah and now we're like you know their second biggest oem <laughs> Uh, you know, people will buy, you know, uh, expensive accessories because oh, yeah. it's not just inexpensive. It's a good gun. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. But I mean, I think, too, a, a big part of it is, you know, um, even from a price point of like expensive accessories are expensive in the world of accessories, so to speak. But compared right. to a gun may not be as expensive. So people are willing to do that with respect to um, buying a gun that's a little more affordable for them. And then kind of going big in the world or the spectrum of of accessories so to speak uh, right no absolutely 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. i mean that's the thing is like and i wouldn't even say it, it's an inexpensive gun i i, I would say it's it's a kind of medium you yeah. know but mm -hmm. it it's one of those things where it just got popularity by word of mouth like someone bought a person they're like 
this is amazing. And then yeah. buy another buy another one. Let's go yeah. see what's going on with their nine. Let's go see. You know. Yeah. I think there's a um I th- I think I think affordable more affordable guns get a bad rap from the standpoint that a lot of the big houses now they're they're at a certain point where now you you are paying extra for a name in many ways. Um I I I've known that for years. Um and it's just kind of just the way it is. It's not necessarily the case that they're just 10 three times better because they're 10 times more expensive. It's just there's there's that element of 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 brand association that comes with that as well. Um, absolutely yeah. absolutely but the cool thing about it i mean this is this i mean we'll touch on some of my other brands here in a second but that's the thing is like uh some of the things that some of my my manufacturers are doing i, I think they're recreating what some of the other guys did like my my 1911 line which is metro arms uh-huh. I, I tell people all the time because i'm a fan of kimber right gotcha. and i'm like they're doing they're they're now taking what kimber did to the other guys uh-huh. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like, making these like almost competition ready guns. Yeah. They're doing that now to Kimber. But and and I think that's, you know, to me, that's 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 what it's all about. It's like how do you when people put these guns in their hand, they're like, I can't believe this cost this much and yeah. you're getting this much for this gun. Yeah. You know? So mm-hmm. um but but this this one here, real quick before we move on from yeah, no, this, go ahead. Have you seen this BP nine? This no, is I haven't. basically it's a it's Palmer uh single stack gun. It's hot. This is a good gun. This is this is Bursa's big thing right now. Okay. Uh, you got to check this one out. I, now that I know you, uh, <laughs> I could send you something. Hey, um, I'm not against it at all. <laughs> Clearly, right? <laughs> like, no, don't send me anything. I don't want anything. No. <laughs> like. No, but th- th- so Bursa's the main, that's basically the big brand. We have a few brands that are are, are fairly new. Mm-hmm. Metro Arms, this 1911 line that I was telling you about, or uh, basically has all kinds of different uh, 1911s. Everything from the introductory level mm-hmm. to competition shooter. So we can go from a $400 1911 to a $2,000 1911. Okay. Uh, Metro Arms consists of American Classic, uh, Mac, and SPS, which yeah. is the competition gun, and then also too, we're bringing back this gun called Llama. I don't know if you remember Llamas from back in the day. No, was that Llama alive? was a Spanish gun, so we're reintroducing the brand. Okay, now I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I don't. Nothing's ringing the bell right now. Okay, well that's that's fine. I mean, okay. not everybody knows Llama. People that are like into guns, though, they remember Llama. Everybody remembers. So what are, you, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Don't jersey me, man. Don't jersey. I don't know anything about guns either, man. Um, <laughs> trying to shame me on the low. No, you're good, man. You, you're about to learn about Llama because this is going to be the next big thing. This uh, I only I can only show you in my catalog, uh-huh. which you can go to eagleimportsinc.com and download right now. <laughs> <laughs> but this they they they're making a, a new Micro Max 1911. It's a little 380 1911. Uh-huh. It's seven plus one. It's uh it's actually the gun that James Gandolfini used in the movie The Mexican with Brad Pitt, yeah. where he would jump out from behind doors and shoot people with. <laughs> it was it's really cool, but we're excited about that because uh, that's something that that's bringing some some hot attention to Metro Arms, which yeah. which is basically out of the Philippines, run by Hector Rodriguez. He's a good uh, basically engineer and a big 1911 guy. I know you're not a 1911 guy. I heard one of your other who, segments. Who told you that? Time. Well, didn't you say, oh, it's for carry. That's yeah, I don't like to carry 911s. Like, yeah, yeah, no. No, I love 911s. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, kidding. no, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to carrying them. And it really, it all boils down to weight. That's right. it. That, that's, that's it. Other than, and capacity. But other than that, I mean, because I'm, I'm not going to carry a double stack 1911. Just, I, yeah, I'm not I mean, that I would ambitious. assume that you have to be a fairly big guy to do something yeah, like Yeah, see, that. there you go, shading me again. You trying to say I'm small? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to do up right now, man. You look huge. <laughs> It's much bigger than my little box here in the bottom. Uh, <laughs> no, so uh, that's our that's our 1911 line, and then this one is actually uh, this next line I'm gonna tell you about is is a gun from Slovakia. Okay. Uh, we got we got about I, I I I'm gonna say this. we need to have you back on. I don't think I don't think one segment is is good enough for you. Um, okay. Good. Quite frankly, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm just being honest. So let, let, let's talk about this gun from Slovakia because we got about maybe 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Um, 30 seconds. Yeah, All and right, then ready, we'll have you back on to to, to even get, get deeper into what what you do because I'm I'm actually really intrigued. Okay, perfect. Uh, this gun is called it's it's Grand Power. It's from Slovakia. 
all their guns have uh, rotating barrels. Uh -huh. You can't see it on the, on, the, on the screen, but basically they all have that rotating barrel action, which helps with like muzzle flip. Okay. So as opposed to like going up, you're going back. Back, yeah. You know, which helps recoil. That so is, that's it's a it's, sexy looking thing, though. I gotta be that. Oh, it, it is. It's you'll yeah. love this. <gasps> yeah, and I think nice. something's coming your way then. <laughs> you like that. Uh, but but they're out of Slovakia. They're all uh, basically no min parts. It's all machine parts. Yeah. So their guns are quality. They work. Awesome. So, Yep. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm dead serious. Uh, we need to have you back on at some point, and hopefully sometime this week, and then we can we can keep this conversation going because there's something else I want to. I'm available. Yeah, because I, I also I also wanted to get into the uh, the the, deal, uh, the situation with Shanine Allen. Um, I, I know you were, you were kind of close with that, and so I, yeah, I really want to get that. Yeah, so I definitely want to have you back on. Unfortunately, we're out of time today, but. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. We're gonna make. We're gonna. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get on the horn with the producer. To, to yeah. you, you gotta have me back on. I don't. Absolutely. I don't deserve only uh, two minutes. I don't make false promises. <laughs> I don't make false promises. <laughs> but, but appreciate it, man. You have a good yeah, one. Thanks, man. Take care. Absolutely. All right. Bye. All right. Now is another episode of Seeing Live. I'm calling you on the war, and I'm out.